realized I've never introduced you to Hazel. This is Hazel. This is our car. We call her Hazel because she's uh, Hazel. Today, as promised, we're talking about Nuna card cases. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is uh, currently a daily vlog through this month, but it's about the creative process, it's about video craft, and it's about just living life. This is not strictly a review video. This is uh, more of just talking about the features, and it's a little bit of a comparison video, although I don't have any other brands of hard cases at this moment to actually show you. But uh, just speaking from my experience and a few of the features that I appreciate about Nanook hard case. This is the Nanook 935. I have another one back here. And uh, here is the 920 and the 915. I don't know why they start with nines. That's uh, just how Plastic Case Nanook uh, decided to do it. Now Nanook uh, and I guess parent company Plastic Case are a Canadian based company and I just really enjoy using their products. Like I talked about yesterday, they're one of those things that just helps my time on set or at a gig go smoother and easier and faster. Any piece of gear that can do that for me, I appreciate and uh, definitely consider investing in. Now I do have a pro tip uh, that I'll reveal at the end, so stick around for that. Firstly, I'll just talk a little bit about the design of the 935. It's carry-on sized, it has wheels, and these are nice, like rollerblade style wheels. They're pretty free rolling and uh, they just don't get jammed up with gravel, which is a big deal for me. Some more things on the outside. We have clicking handles. Those keep it from flopping around. On the top, a lot of the cases are these spring-loaded handles for grabbing on top of. So all of the handles retract, which is a really nice feature. On all of the different cases have some sort of mechanism to keep them in place and of course like any other hard case brand we have the pressure release valve so that it doesn't blow open after being on an airplane or something like i said the 935 is their like largest carry-on size one of the other great features is the one-handed operation two stops on the handle for pulling it now the same goes for all cases that Nanook makes. They all have these power claw latches that just work, which is probably my biggest complaint against Pelican. Pelican and many of the other companies make great products. All of these hard cases are gonna protect your gear. You know, the same sort of seal for dust and everything, but Nanook, I, there's just some easy things that I like so much better that really make a difference. Like these power claws. And they're just, you can operate them silently. Like that. And it's a positive lock. You can tell when they're closed. There's no thunk like other cases and you're not ripping off your fingernails or killing your fingers to open these cases. Like I said, this is the 915. And that one's just a smaller one. I should also mention quickly that I am in no way affiliated with Nanook or any other companies at this point. I have not been paid to say anything. I have not been given anything. These are all purchases with my own money or with my production company's money. And it's just purely my thoughts on these cases. So just wanted to clear that up. So again, talking about the latches, let's open these up. And in this case, that's a, that's a bad pun. In this case, uh, we have a padded divider that slides in and out, specifically designed with cutouts for this case. Above here, I have a couple of the extra just uh, hook and loop, I guess is the correct way to say that. Hook and loop dividers, and they're just like any of your other standard padded dividers. One thing that I do find interesting is the Nanook 935 is a direct competitor with the Pelican 1510, I believe. And while they're about the same size on the outside, that uh, 
roll-on size. The Nanook does have just a tiny bit larger interior space. Always looking for just that extra little bit of space for me, and this has it. Something else I should say is a lot of these Nanook cases have little screw points for attaching all sorts of custom pieces, and uh, you can actually go through Nanook or make your own but that's pretty nice. Something that I hear people say about Pelican all the time is all of the lid organizers. Well, in this case, uh, you actually can order a couple, on a couple of the cases, you can order lid organizers. Speaking of the company, I have always had just fantastic, fantastic experience with their customer service. They are a top-notch company that believes in their products, so they stand behind them. So calling up Nanook is just one of those experiences that is just sort of rare in customer service where they stand behind their product and they're happy to make you happy. So you can also get this case the same size. In fact, I have another one here. As with most other hard case companies, you can get this cubed foam in the different layers. I don't know if that shows up very well. Put this back. And many of their other cases, so this is a 920. And I do have their own brand of strap, or their own branded strap, which I actually got on B&H as a used item, but has really nice padding, really great latches to hold it on there, and it just, it's comfortable to wear. Now this case happens to have custom from the company, from Nanook, cut out for the original Mavic Pro which I just sold mine, so I can't show you how that fits in here. But you know, it had specific slots, and I'm looking to get one for my upgraded Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic Pro 2, whichever way that is. But this I had rolling around in the back of uh, fire rigs on assignment, and I never was worried about dust or, you know, jarring. It's just one of those things that I felt confident in these cases protecting my gear and I wouldn't have it any other way. These have been on fire assignments. These have been in all sorts of mountainous terrain, you know, in and out of rigs, on airplanes. These are just, they just work and they're easy. And I like a lot of the small little detail features that they provide. Like I said, these power claw latches. Oh, one thing to note is they, you can also order separately or some of the cases now come with them. Uh, TSA lock versions of these power claws that you install instead of this unit, you know, instead of this piece. So that's really cool. That was a great innovation. You don't have to worry about latching through the, you know, the grommet holes or anything. Basically, what I'm saying is almost all hard cases will protect your gear about equally, give or take. They all have general features that are the same, but for me, and again, this is not, I'm not being paid to say any of this. This is just my straight up opinion. Nanook makes cases that just work and all of their little extra bells and whistles really go a long way for me. Definitely consider that. If this review or this features video has been helpful for you, I sure would appreciate a comment or at least a thumbs up down below. I am looking to do even more product reviews and product talks, I guess, or feature videos about different things that I use and why I use them. Hopefully to help you guys make uh, smart informed decisions because I'm not gonna lie, cases are expensive, camera, gears is a, camera gear is expensive, and I usually get decision paralysis until I find some sort of information for, that is relative to my usage, and then if it just makes sense, and I can afford it, then that is probably the next purchase. So anyway, I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you drop a comment. I sure would love any information that you guys have, or if you disagree even, you know, I would love to start up a conversation about that. But uh, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you're having a great one, and I'll see you tomorrow once again. One more thing, just to clarify, during the intro, and I was dropping the case down the steps there, I'm not normally that rough on my equipment. It was just for demonstration purposes. I think these cases can take it, but I didn't actually have anything inside. So uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching all the way through. Here's that pro tip I promised you guys early in the video. If it looks closed, 
it should be closed. Now this is important because you don't want to just grab up and spill out your expensive equipment. So always make sure that you either leave the flap open, you either leave it open or you latch it. Now that's a big deal on real film sets and is something that uh, you'll get grilled for if you forget. So hopefully that helps prevent any potential damage to your expensive equipment, that investment. I just figured that would go hand in hand with talking about cases today. So um, at any rate, I'll see you again tomorrow once again.